Hey there, Allegiance Home Inspection. Um, just wanted to make a little, quick little video. So we're in the back end of a garage and we've got some stains on the wall there that look to the eye like they probably are moisture related. So what we want to do, the next thing we want to do is grab our moisture meter and check it out and see what it looks like. Uh, we also, side note, have some uh, moisture ant activity back here and when you look closely at it you can see the little brown moisture ants and the, all the frass piled up along here um, that's indicative of moisture ants that's the all the frass piled up and in the frass you'll have little bits of cellulose debris and sand and dirt and little dead ants um, but whenever we see a dry st or a stain we always want to get our moisture meter out turn it on and then poke it in a few areas and uh, I've got a couple little holes in here already in the paneling but as I put it in it stays in the green if it's in the green we're good essentially these are kind of easy to use moisture meters if it's in the green it's good if it starts to turn yellow then we want to start calling it a wet stain and if it's up in the red above like 20 percent then we start referring to it as a wet stain we want to check it out and get a few pictures in a few areas also mind being mindful that we haven't had much rain lately um, in this area it's been very dry recently so that can affect the reading as well but we want our client to continue to monitor this area and ideally ideally it'd be nice to have somebody just pop off the paneling and evaluate the area behind it but we don't have that um, ability during a general home inspection so these are areas to keep an eye out for 